This jam trader, it's about 5.14. Uh, pits close at 2.30, running a little late today. Uh, so we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, mine, ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, the OPEC meeting was there today. Very interesting because what they did is they left everything as is, okay? So they're not going to do any kind of uh, uh, ad crude. They're not going to do any reductions. They're going to do the same thing here. Uh, and we'll have to check out and see what, at their next meeting here next month if they change anything. But right now, everything is steady. And their compliance is really good, which is very unusual. Usually they say one thing and kind of do the other, but their compliance is very, very good. So it looks like crude oil here is going to be high and going to stay high the way this is going. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, the uh, EIA report came out today and it was pretty good across the board. Uh, huge draw on gasoline. I got all those numbers posted there for you right out here after the, uh, at the end of the video. Uh, so, yeah, everything looks very, very bullish. Now, but we look at today's candle here. This is an indecision candle going on here, okay? So this is what I'm not really that crazy about. Plus, we had a nice five-day run-up, but we put a setup higher high in here, okay? So we got got to keep your eye on this. So what we want to do on the upside is we want to watch today's high. That was at 86, uh, uh, 20 level here. Now, the level we're really looking for here is going to be um, uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, this is your 8590. That's what we're looking for. But you had 8620. But if you look at here at the uh, closing of it, you close at uh, 80 uh, uh, 8565 here. Okay, so you're actually below this key level here, right here at this uh, 8590. Let's just call that 86. Now again, if we can start rallying up here, there's a lot of good targets here. You got your 87. Uh, 83 here, you have 88.33, we have uh, 88.57, we have uh, 89.54, but this is the candle that we're looking for, 89.85, let's just call that 90 bucks, okay? Now, again, if we look here to the left here uh, on this chart here, there's that candle right there at 89.85, then what we want to do, we can follow the candles up, but we're looking for this candle here, this is that 92.43. Very, very key because this is where it ran up, came down, and then broke through. So now that becomes resistance at 92.43 here. And then we all can just follow it up here. You got 93.10. You have uh, this 95, uh, 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 94.17. And then you have 95.03 there as the top. Okay, but let's just go one level at a time here now. So really at this 86.20, came really, really close here to this um, uh, 85.90. 30 cents off there. So call that 86 number that's what we're basically looking for so when the futures open here at 6 p.m always look for the high and the low on this candle so you're looking at 86 20 84 85 and you close at 85 65 here on this candle now what we want to do here if this does sell off the low was 84 85 and the pretty large lines up here uh this is what the next candle would be 84 49 that would be your next level, and then we'll come to the bottom there. You're looking at 83.85, and then we're looking at this candle here. This is that 83.21 and then 83.12, and your key level here is 83 flat, okay? That is your uh, 8 uh, SMA here. But now you're pulling away uh, pretty good here from that 8 uh, simple moving average, so we've got to see if it's going to pull right back to that a little bit. But look at this indecision candle. we got to see how that's going to shake out. Now, again, you know, the news is pretty much done here. We know what OPEC is going to do. We have the API the EIA report out there. So we got to just see how this is all going to shake out here. It'd be nice to have a little bit of pullback uh, and then just get this sentiment right back here just a little bit here. So realistically, just watch today's low at 84.85. And then you have your 84.49, uh, uh, 83.85. This is key level here. That's at Friday's height at 83.21, and then right back here at that uh, 83.12, and then right uh, 83 flat, very, very nice here. So when the future's open here, 6 p.m., we'll just have to check that out to see where we are standing here. Now, uh, your RSI, you're, you're above your 70, but that's showing very, very good strength. Your MACD here, green above your red, shows good positive momentum here. Very, very bullish chart. Now, this thing could just keep right on running, but if so, if it does running out here, remember, your next target here 
is going to be right there. It's going to be that 89, 85, let's just call it 90 bucks is what she's going to rally up to. Now, again, it could come here to the rest of these uh, uh, candlesticks here, but that's going to be the big target. And then we have that 95 sitting above. Okay, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. Okay, your monthly, obviously, very bullish. I like this. See this? Where your green now is about ready to come over your red. Looks very good, unless it rolls back over, but looking very positive. We can see what happens when your green gets above the red. Look at there. Nice, big, bull run up. So what do we have here? You had five, basically four green candles. That's four months in a row here of the green candles. So then we'd be just looking here at that... Uh, uh, the high is 91.88, and then right there, you're looking at that 95.03, okay? So you got a lot of good upside here, plus what I like about this is see this W pattern? Comes right on down, up, down, and up, and then usually when she breaks out, she just runs, okay? So here we have your weekly chart, your uh, MACD looking very good, green above your red, RSI, plenty of room to run, and this is very key here as you're above your key 100 SMA at 3286. Now, again, you really want to hold that for the week. Okay, so today's only Wednesday. You got a couple of days left here. We really want to hold that. But you can see the eight day. Look how nice this is. Okay, all the way and up. Now, UCO here was a really good scalper there today. I think I scalped it twice. Uh, plus, I'm also holding it. So we got to see how that all is going to shake out. But really, really good trading here in the old. Uh, 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 crude oil here. Okay. So again, when we look at this, we want to look at this top that that was the high so far for the week is uh, 8260. And then we can just come right on over to all these candles that 8783, uh, 8829. And then here's what we're looking for that 8985. Let's just call it 90 bucks. Okay. So you got plenty of room to run. So even if this pulls down for a day or I mean for a week or something like that, it's really no big deal. Look how nice and bullish around it that is. Just beautiful. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, daily and weekly chart. Now, natural gas here was working like a circus monkey. Uh, went up pretty good, but look at here. See that 50 SMA? Key, key level. Tried to, couldn't do it. Tried to, couldn't do it. Tried to, got over it, but where did it close? Below it. Now, again, usually when you have that series of higher highs, higher lows, that usually is a sign that where she wants to go higher and break through that. But again, it doesn't always happen that way, but you got to watch and see if it does. The whole key level here to this is going to be this 50 SMA, 1.872. Now, when the futures open here, this is obviously is going to come down lower. This here, this uh, these are, uh, you just got to say they're about 1.76, okay? Your eight day, your, your uh, uh, 21 day here. So even if this falls out and as long as it holds that level, you're still in very, very good shape because you still have that nice series of higher lows and you got some good support. The key is going to be is that 50 day. So as that comes down, this is going to go up. You're going to have a clash. And then what happens? It's either going to break one way or the other. I really think it's going to break to the upside, but we got to uh, a see. Now, again, if you can close above this 1.87, here's your target. 1.0, 2.0. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now, again, above that, you got here, you have your 2.0. Uh, 04, your 2.10, 2.12. This is what you're looking for, is that uh, 2.168. That is going to be your target right above there. What do we have? Your 21 day, 2.28. And then we have 2.31 is your 100 SMA here. So this is actually not looking very, very bad here at all because when you look at this pattern here, it looks like you just have a nice double bottom because you look at that candle. 1.589 and then we have 1.581 so we do have a higher low and a double bottom the question is can she rip right back here the whole thing that's holding this up is this 50 day and i know i keep harping on it here and you say man what the hell was he talking about but look at the how strong that is you're not going to get through the first time it's just no different than here with this 8 sma here on the weekly basis see right into it into it into it. finally last friday we had to turn around now we're sitting right above and you can see how the eight day coming down flattening out Nice sideways action, and now we're green. We're sitting above it here so far. But again, it's a weekly. Got two more days here left of this, so we got to see how that's going to shake out. But right now, she's looking very, very good. The key is the whole thing on the upside is going to be this 1.87, this 50-day. Now, it's going to be lower when those futures open here, so we got to see how this is going to shake out and where if we can jump above that, then you got a nice good shot here at that two-point level. Now, let's just take a look at the downside. Realistically, it's going to be here. 1.757, uh, 
right here, 1.759. Let's just call it 1.76. This is what we're looking for as support. Very, very key, very, very crucial. It needs to hold that. If it doesn't, then we look to the bottom here. You look at uh, uh, 1.70, and then we have 1.686. And then we look to the top of that candle, 1.675. There's your gap, there's your fill, and then there's your retest all the way down here at 1.589. If, if this 8 and this 21 SMA here don't hold. But right now, she she's still looking very good. The question is, can it get above that 50-day? And then we go higher. Okay, let's take a look here in an hourly and a four-hour. Okay, hourly chart, you can see here, well, you made a really nice, good series. See? Low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Very, very nice, okay? Higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, but it couldn't close above. That's the problem, okay? You gotta close above that key uh, 50 SMA here for this to go higher. So now we gotta see where we can all shake out. Now again, if this sells off, you can come all the way down to this 1.79 and roughly right here, 1.752, which is basically that 1.6 level there on your daily chart here. But, you know, and then you would lose that nice series of higher lows here. But again, we'd have to see this could come down here lower and still have that nice uh, lift. But I really like the way it's set up here now. But we got to see. Really, let's see what you got to do is you got to close above this 1.90. Then she can rip to that 2.0. And we got the same thing here, okay, on your four hour chart. Same old thing, okay. We had basically a left shoulder, a head, your right shoulder zoomed right off. Nice series of uh, a higher highs here. Very, very nice. Now we got to try to break out of this pattern, okay? So I just think a little bit of patience here, and then I think we'd be looking pretty good. And there's your big target up there is that 2.0, okay? So that's what we're looking at here. So we just got to be a little patient with this here. I know sometimes it's not easy to do that, but that's the only way you can do it. You can't really do anything about it. So we got to see here how this is all going to shake out. Uh, but watch that 50-day on the upside on that daily chart. Very, very key in that 8 and that 21-day for the key support levels on that daily chart. Okay, that's what I got for you on crude and natural gas. I'll be back tomorrow morning and we'll do it all over again. All right, thanks for watching.